Newcomb says he wants to give teachers another raise before he leaves office. He says it's one of his priorities heading into the new year. CBS 4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow joins us now in the studio. And Kristen, you asked him about school funding much more in a in a one on one interview today. Yeah, we talked about several issues earlier as Governor Eric Holcomb is looking ahead to 2023. He wants the state to invest more funding in K through 12 schools. It's a priority shared with Republican legislative leaders. The governor tells me he wants the state's average teacher salary to be $60,000 by the time he leaves office in two years. The Education Law Center shows that per capita, Indiana ranks 30th for state educational funding. Why hasn't Indiana been able to catch up with most states for school funding? Well, we've been making progress, and if you look at the total package, compensation package, so we started I, many years ago, many, being almost five, years ago, I came out and said I wanted to make sure the minimum was 40000 for a new teacher, under a one-year experience teacher. That's required now. We're meeting that. 17 different school districts are at a minimum of 50000 We're moving in the right direction. We're just not there yet, and we have the ability, I think we have the financial wherewithal, to continue to make gains and eat into that uh, gap that you referenced. How soon do you think Indiana can get to that $60,000 average salary? Well, this will be discussed over this session. This is a budget session. It'll be my last. So I'm trying to take us from the low 50s up to as close or if not at 60 before I leave. And that's this two year period. I also asked Governor Holcomb about what could be next for his future after he leaves office. Three candidates have jumped in the race to succeed Holcomb, Senator Mike Braun, Lieutenant Governor Suzanne Crouch, and businessman Eric Doden. And others are considering running for Braun's Senate seat. Holcomb says he doesn't have a timeline yet for when he'll decide what to do next. So do you think you'll stay in politics or are you open to doing something else? I don't know. I've been, I've been uh, approached by philanthropic um, sector, private sector, public sector. And I don't want to take my eye off the ball, honestly. I love the job that I have. It's a privilege. It's an honor, one that I uh, can hardly see um, another of this stature and one that I would enjoy as much. And so I'm not going to think about it until I have to think about it. What are your thoughts on the candidates who have jumped in the race to succeed you? I wish them all well. Uh, I would, I would encourage and have those to, uh, who are seeking um, to affect state policy to share their ideas. I would just encourage, encourage them to turn the cards face up and be very transparent about here's how I'm going to lead. And in a few weeks, Holcomb will unveil more specifics about the priorities for his new state budget. Chris, and you also talked to the governor about another issue. What did he have to say about the near total abortion ban he signed into law earlier this year? Well, Bob, that law remains on hold as it heads to the Indiana Supreme Court. And I asked him whether he wants to see the legislature pass new abortion restrictions if the law is struck down next year. He wouldn't take a position on that either way, though. He says he wants to wait and see what the court decides. All right, Kristen Eskow in our studio tonight. Thank you.